it's like water, it's like the ocean And I'm getting hit by the waves I see the blue skies and I feel the sun It's like I'm slipping away This kind of love is killing me It's the kind of love makes you weak This kind of love rolls over me Slowly and softly Slowly and softly, baby, now Slowly and softly Just like the sea Hi, this is Steve Weber. I'm here at Sunken Meadow State Park with my friend King Pedler. Welcome to our show. Today we're going to talk about the old St. John Lynn camp. Back in the 30s and 40s, St. John Lynn, the uh, home for children, had a camp down in the Sunken Meadow area where the kids would come and enjoy the summertime, get a break from the, uh, the St. John Lynn home, and enjoy the beauties of nature. In fact, King lived at the St. John Lynn home for a number of years. Camp is something that we look forward to all year long. It was great. A lot of competitive sports, great meals cooked right here bonfires we had at night gathering around, singing songs together, a cappella, playing word games, toasting marshmallows. And even though we had no electricity, it was just beautiful. Robert Moses came along in 51 and needed uh, another 125 acres to add on to Sunken Meadow State Park. And he took it from St. John under the eminent domain clause. And Robert Moses, he had a reputation of getting things done, but the way he often did that is he'd show up with a bulldozer and uh, kind of like make his own well, way. In hindsight, if St. John had kept it, they might have sold it to private developers. So true. And it wouldn't have been anywhere near as nice, but it is preserved forever. Well, it's a beautiful park, and we just yeah. love it. We come down here all the time, me and the kids, uh, beautiful hiking trails. Right. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to walk around, and we're going to see if we could find any remnants of the old St. John Lynn camp. You all ready, King? Ready. All right, let's go. to do is I'm trying to look around the area to see if we can find some of the remains of the old foundation. These bungalows were somewhere in this area. If I take a look at this piling here, it looks like something that could have held up the houses, but uh, from recent memory, I don't think so. This is, doesn't look old enough, and at one time I remember they had some sort of a fencing here, so unless we see some sort of evidence that, uh, that there's fence here or the foundations, 
I think we might be in the wrong area. Okay, so now what we are, we're in the parking lot of Sunken Meadow, and pretty much the spot where I'm standing right now was actually part of the Sunken Meadow Creek. What happened is when they did the renovations in about 55 to 57, they actually physically moved the creek in order to make space for this parking lot here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look down a little bit more towards where the creek is to see if we could find perhaps some of the foundations or any type of evidence of the St. John Lynn camp. So come on, let's take a look. Under the water feels like I'm drowning Twisting into the deep I see your face and I see you crying Sorry for me. This kind of love is killing me. It's the kind of love makes you weak. This kind of love rolls over me slowly and softly, baby. Now, slowly and softly. things going on here is we've looked around and we just can't find any any evidence because it's been pretty much wiped clean because it looks like the parking lot is where the buildings were so hopefully that we could find perhaps some remains like a lot of times when this when they do state jobs they they take the material and they'll put it in another area that they clear out so maybe they used it to reinforce the banks or something but let's just walk along and see if we could find any of the remains sure all right Looks like these are the pilings over here. Yeah, uh, it's the right time period. It looks like it's worn. We're gonna have to get King over here to take a look at it and confirm it. But uh, it looks like these could be the piling. Judging by its perspective of that large rock, and coming over in this angle where the, our where the rec hall was, where Father Gardner stayed, and the uh, dining hall, <clears throat> I think there's a good chance of this being part of the foundation of the rec hall, because the rec hall was the only building that I remember that wasn't on stilts or piling, cedar pilings as they called it. Everything else was piling, it's lifted off the sand. The rec hall was so big and heavy that it had this uh, concrete type foundation. found some, it looks like some of the structure, uh, maybe part of the foundation. We'll have to compare it to the old photographs to be sure. But uh, King, how does it feel to be back in the area? Homesick. Homesick. Nostalgic. <laughs> Puts a smile on my face, the memories. Oh, that's great. That's great. <laughs> well, this is Steve Weber and King Peddler for the Kings Park Heritage Museum. We thank you for spending this time with us. Ready, King? Sounds good to me. All right, let's go. Yeah.